All right, so now I'm going to show you how to take your pinch pot and make it into a monster. So as it is right now, I've made my pinch pot. It kind of rolls around because it doesn't have a flat bottom. To make it into a monster, this opening is going to become my mouth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on its side like this. I'm going to give it a gentle squish. All right, so now I have more of a kind of taco-like shape. And I also have a flat side. All right, that flat side is where I would want to put my name. I forgot my needle tool. I will go quickly and get that. With the needle tool, what I will be doing is I will be able to put my name on the bottom of my pinch pot. See, our needle tools are um, a multi-purpose tool used by people who are working with ceramics. And it allows us to cut, draw, do all sorts of things that um, we would want to be able to do on our clay. Um, they come in a variety of styles and things like that. So what I would do on the bottom is I will write my name. It does take a little bit of skill to be able to write your name on the bottom of or on the clay in general. So take your time, do it neatly. Um, I found that uh, capitals are sometimes easier than trying to do lowercase letters, but there we go. I got my name. So now I'm going to turn it over, all right? So I want to be able to add some things to my monster. First, I'm going to kind of smooth out the cracks in the lips so that way I don't have quite that chapped look on my mouth going on here, all right? You may have more or less cracks than I do. I don't know. Maybe you kind of like that dry lip look. You can leave them if that's what you like. But I'm going to smooth them out a little bit. Alright. Okay. Smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. Alright. So, to be able to make things and be able to attach them, I have to use my needle tool, and I also have to use a little bit of slip, or in our case, we use water just because it's easier, and I don't have as many students who um, are drying out my slip because they're not closing it up. So now I have another piece of clay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this extra clay to make my additions to make my monster. So, I'm going to start off with some eyes, I think. I enjoy starting off with the eyes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my clay, I'm gonna roll it into a ball. I'm gonna decide how big the eye is going to be. I'm gonna decide how many eyes it's going to have. My monsters vary, sometimes they have two eyes, sometimes they have three eyes, sometimes they have four or more. I mean, it really just depends, all right? So I'm going to make a couple eyes. All right, so I got my eyes, rolled them into little balls. So now what I need to do is I need to decide where on my monster they're going to be. All right, where are my monster are they going to be? They could be on top of the head, they could be in the mouth, they could be in a variety of places. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where they're going to go. Um, my personal preference is usually just on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch or score. I'm going to rough up the bottom. I'm going to rough up where I'm going to attach the eye. All right, so I rough that up to where I was going to attach the eye. I'm going to take 
my water. I'm going to get it just a little wet, just a little wet, so that way it's a, a little on the shiny side. Then I'm going to add that, a little water to my clay as well, my mouth, so that way it's a little on the shiny side. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to apply firm pressure and I'm going to go squish. Now, so I don't squash my monster too, too much, I am holding on to the inside of my mouth as well, so that way I'm not squashing it closed as I'm applying firm pressure. This time, I think my eye is going to just go next to it, okay? When you're adding things on to clay like this, you don't want to add things that are way, 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 way too high or stick way, way, way too off from the, origin, the main part of the clay. If it sticks way too far off, chances are it will break in the kiln, it will um, dry out faster and break off, just things like that. So you want to kind of keep it more at a even size, okay? I'm going to kind of give him an eyelid look by taking the back of his eyeballs and I'm going to smooth them into the clay using my finger. I'm going to smooth this into the clay using my finger. Okay, I'm just going to smooth it into the back of his head. Kind of like this. It also kind of it also helps attach them a little bit better. You don't have to do that. That's just something that I usually do. Kind of smooth out that line there. Now, hmm, maybe I want to add a little more detailing to the eye. I'm going to take the back of my needle tool and I'm going to poke him some eyeball holes. Now he looks more like he's got his eyes open. All right. There we go. So now he's got some eyeballs. Okay. Um, you could add some teeth. I don't add teeth very often, but if I wanted to add teeth, I would take some of my clay and I would flatten it out. Just to kind of using the palm of my hand. I suppose if you had a rolling pin, you could do that, but yeah, there's not that many teeth. So I'm going to flatten it out. Okay. It's more of a disc. I'm going to kind of squash it into a rectangle like shape a little bit here so that way my edges are a little smoother and he's going to have a couple teeth I think I'm going to just divide this here like that he's going to have a couple big teeth I think okay I'm going to kind of round it off because you know I want some different looking teeth okay so I'm going to go like that. I'm going to attach his tooth, I think, over here in his mouth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch up the top of his tooth. I'm going to scratch in his mouth where the tooth will go. When you're making score marks, you're not trying to make the clay um, like fall apart or cut into the clay and change the shape of it. You just want to rough it up a little bit. It helps that water kind of stick into the clay and help it stick better. I'm going to kind of smooth it out here. With the gloves, I end up with quite a bit of extra water, so I always kind of got to be careful. All right. Now, teeth can fall off out if you are not um, careful with how small they are or how big they are. If you make them teeny tiny, they have a tendency to dry out a little bit faster and then they'll want to break and fall off. I think I'm going to make one more tooth. I think he's going to have different sizes of teeth. All right, I'm going to kind of round it off here. Go like this. Maybe he's going to have this tooth kind of over here. He'll have kind of a weird toothy grin. That looks good. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Just a teeny bit of water. 
Water provides a temporary hold. It does not provide a permanent hold. The more water you add to your clay, the weaker your clay will become. More water does not mean it's going to stick better. More water just means you're adding more water to wet clay. Wet clay does not necessarily need more water. It is helping to stick it together for a temporary hold. It is not going to guarantee just because you drowned your clay in water that it will stick together. Okay, so please do not add a whole bunch of water to your clay monster. You might come back and it might be a pile of mush because you've added way too much water. All right, or it no longer looks like a monster because the more water you add, the clay can't stay together, it doesn't hold its shape, and then it starts to fall apart because there's way too much moisture in there. All right, I'm gonna clean up my edge a little bit here. All right, so there's adding things to my monster. Maybe I wanna draw something on my monster. Okay, so maybe I wanna give him kind of like a texture. All right, no problem. I want to give them a texture, okay? So I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm going to draw some different things on. Maybe the top of my, maybe my monster is covered in spots. Okay, he's got big spots, he's got little spots. So I'm just going to really carefully draw all sorts of different sizes of shapes, of circles, and kind of give them a little speckled look. Okay? I could add flippers if I wanted to. I could add arms. I could add a tail. I could add a tongue. Okay, at this point, I could add pretty much whatever I want to my monster, okay? I'm gonna take off my gloves here and I'm gonna show you a couple different monsters that I have put together over the years, okay? So I've got a couple that have been painted, a couple that haven't been painted. So I've got my clay monster here that I'm working on. This one I painted. This one I painted with tempera paint and then it's covered with a clear acrylic, so it's kind of got a little shiny look to it. See, he's got some teeth, he's got some eyes, he's got some spots. I painted him all nicely different colors. So there's that one. This one, I never painted. You can see what color the clay will look like when it's fired. Depending on what clay you have will depend on how it looks. Here he's got some eyes. Here I gave him kind of a scale-like texture. He's got some flippers on each side, and here he has a tail, all right? And he's even got a little, some little detailing here for his tail, okay? But as you can see, none of that sticks or hangs off too far from the body of my monster, okay? This one, he's got a couple eyes on his head, he's got fins on his side, and he's got a tongue in his mouth. I don't know if you can see that, the contrast isn't all that great. Here he's got a tongue in his mouth. Here I've started painting. I haven't painted him any farther. Okay, again, none of these stick too far. I use the same method to stick them as I showed you earlier. Here's one that I added some spikes to the back. Notice they're not super long. Okay, it doesn't even go to the first bend in my finger. This one, he's got four eyes. He's got two on top and two right inside. And then he has a tongue, which might be kind of hard for you to see, but he's got a little bit of a tongue. Here, I've added some striped lines on the side of him, just for something different, okay? So you can really go to town on really making it look like a monster. You just have to be careful and not extend too far past the surface of your monster, okay? When you're attaching, you got to make sure you're, you're scoring, roughing up the clay, adding some slip or water. We'll use water in my classroom because that's what we have. And that you're really attaching them and remembering that more water does not mean that it's going to stick. It just means it's going to get wet and it's going to get sticky 
and gooey and you're more likely that things are going to break because it's going to have way too much water added to it while it's trying to dry out, which would not be a good thing. All right, so there is our clay monster.